Alright guys, today we have some new players in the game. We have some new heavyweight player, new veteran, and new flashback player. Now, EA was not supposed to release content today because of... I'm not going to go into it, but really awful things happened. Um, and because of that, they released a statement in the game. Everyone can read it themselves. That says that they're not going to release content today because of what happened yesterday. Now... They went ahead and I think released this by accident. So this is in the game, but it's not supposed to be in the game because they're not supposed to release content today. So comment A coming in from Tony Denning, who says, I just need the yards and the touchdowns. So let's go ahead and first off, start off with the players we do have for today. The players we have today are going to be flashback Akib Talib. You can see his stats right here. Very, very nice stats coming in with 84 speed, 88 acceleration, 87 agility, 91 jumping, 86 play rec, 91 man, 89 zone, and 89 press. Of course, very, very nice card. Definitely a monster. Comparing him real fast to my cornerbacks in Darius Slay and, of course, Champ Bailey. He is honestly just too slow for my liking. I probably would not pick him up for that reason. And, of course, you know, you can see right here, I love my cornerbacks. I might, I mean, he might not be a bad option as a third cornerback, but 84 speed, I mean, he's equal to um, Rod Woodson, obviously speed-wise, and I'd rather have Rod Woodson, just because I can upgrade Rod Woodson throughout the time. Nonetheless, though, he is our first player we have today. Next guy we have today is going to be a heavyweight player, and let's we'll see, yep, he's on the auction block, around 400,000 coins, and that's going to be Alex Mack coming in at a 90 overall. 87 strength, 85 pass block, 91 run block. You can see his stats right here, very, very nice card. Comparing him to my center, I have Travis, Travis Frederick, who now actually has a issue with him where he's actually um his immune system attacks his nerve cells which could mean that he is going to be out for a long time maybe one or two years so this card actually might not be a good card to do the whole power-up system with because of that reason but most likely if that is the case where he's out for a long period of time I think what EA is doing this year is with the, with the heavyweight promo it's going to go ahead and make it so that these players um you know, they go ahead and get heavyweight players down the line. So if a player is not doing good or they're hurt, they will still get an upgrade to the power-up card. Nonetheless, again, this is going to be Alex Mack. And the last guy we have today is going to go ahead and be, last but finally, Devin McCourty. Now, when I first looked for Devin McCourty, he was not on this list, and he is not. It looks like he might not even be on this list again. I do not believe anyone pulled him or posted him up yet. Uh, now, veterans are really difficult promo. There's not really many that go for anything. As you can see, some go for 60,000 coins. The set costs over 100,000 coins to do. So, sadly, it looks like no one has posted this uh, veteran, Devin McCourty. And you're going to see real fast that they went ahead and took them off Mutthead. So, this morning when they first, at 1030, they were actually released on Mutthead and in the game. I'm... I'm pretty sure they're still in the game. You can still pull these cards out of the packs in the game. But when it comes to Mutthead, they actually went ahead and took them down. Obviously, because they were not supposed to release this content today. And they were not supposed to go ahead and actually, you know, show these or add these players to the game. So, of course, that is why they probably took them down and everything like that. Um, but... Again, that's just how it works. With that in mind, guys, definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. We'll most likely get solo battles sometime later this week. So at this moment, you know, we do not have solo battles. And I, again, I'll say this one. I'm not going to go into all the details of everything because I like to kind of, with my videos, I like to distance you guys from everything that's happening in the world. I like these videos to be an escape for you guys to watch, you know, watch the content and just you know, take your mind off of everything that's going on in real life. So with that in mind, I'm not going to go into that. But what I will say is that most likely with solo battles, we will get it, you know, sometime later this week. But guys, please, please, please do not hound EA for this. Please just don't hound EA for any new content this week. Even if they're late with this week with content, just please, 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 please do not hound them. I know a lot of times you like to show shade at them and yell at them and you know complain to them but let this let this week be a week that we don't complain to ea okay with that in mind thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out